Retromantic here with Weird Retro Foods. This show requires a guest, and I do have a special guest with me today. Drum roll. I'm shaking the camera. RJ78 Productions! This is going to be so fun. Oh my goodness! RJ is here. You have seen him on my channel before. It's been a while, yeah. But not that often because he lives 10 hours away. So it is a special treat for us all that he has joined us today for Weird Retro Boots. It was a long drive for this, too. So Yeah. Know, once we're he done, I gotta drive all the way back. Yeah, he came just for this, so. We better make it a good episode. <laughs> okay, so today we will be preparing a recipe from this very old book. It's called Lunches and Brunches by Better Homes and Gardens. RJ, I would like you to tell me a couple of your most favorite foods. Macaroni and cheese, uh, mashed potatoes, meatloaf, um, Okay, okay, <laughs> those are all good. I agree with that. I would like to hear a couple of your least favorite foods. Gee, pickles, you already know that. Um, asparagus. Okay, you've learned all you need to know about RJ. Today we will be preparing from page 16 the spring sandwich puff. Ingredients. Processed American cheese, bread, egg yolks, mayonnaise, and asparagus. Did you just mention asparagus? <laughs> that was on your favorites, right? No, it wasn't. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look delicious? I mean, look at it, RJ. It's like a sandwich with asparagus on it instead of meat. Now who wouldn't love that? Okay, so it just so happens that we have all the ingredients and we are going to be working together to prepare this delightful dish and then we are going to try it. That's the most important part. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, I know I have to. Otherwise, there was no point for you driving 10 hours here. I know. I'm so mean. I it's a asparagus. long drive to eat something I don't like. <laughs> I picked the asparagus one on purpose in case you hadn't picked up on that. Another fun fact about us is that I can't cook. Neither can I. So that makes this all the more fun. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be burnt, gonna be nasty. And that's even before the asparagus is put into it. Well, the directions are pretty easy, so I I tend to think we can pull it off. The point is to explore weird retro foods that we find in these old cookbooks and old recipes and stuff that people just don't eat today. They did years and years ago, maybe it was more normal, but you just don't see it today. So we're going back in time and we're exploring retro foods and I'm adding the weird onto it because well, the stuff is pretty weird. I mean, we generally, we don't eat asparagus sandwiches. Maybe some of you do. You can let me know if you do. <laughs> With processed cheese. Hopefully that totally masks the taste. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Cheers to weird retro foods. Cheers. We can do this. We can make retro foods. Down the hatch. Liquid courage. We can do it now. We're ready. Goes down smooth. As you can see, we are in my retro kitchen. Could there be any more magnets on this fridge? I think not. Yeah, there's room down here. <laughs> the beautiful orange countertops from the 1970s. We've got our book here to follow the recipe. We have mayo, and we have a wonderful loaf of Wonder Bread. The most retro bread I can think of. So in the fridge here, 
Open this, please, assistant. Oh. Okay, that is the wrong package. This one. You meant that one. We're off to a great start. This is the correct one. Oh, this one isn't right either. I'm, ki I'm kidding, it's the right one. <laughs> okay, so we have eggs. I only bought a few because I can't use them because I don't cook. Craft Singles American Processed Rubbery Cheese. <laughs> and RJ's favorite. I will let him remove the packaging. Do I have to? Yes. <gasps> Ta-da! Asparagus. <laughs> Nice, and we're going to dice, and we're going to, you know, just walk out of here. Julia Child stuff. <laughs> now, the spring sandwich puff that you see here. In a broiler, toast six slices on one side, place a slice of processed American process. Should say processed. I'm going to write the editor. On each untoasted side, broil to partially melt cheese, remove from heat and place three or four spears of hot cooked asparagus on top of each cheese slice. Beat three egg yolks, salt thick, and lemon colored, stir in one fourth cup of mayonnaise, one fourth teaspoon salt, and dash of pepper. Fold in three stiff, stiff? Stiff? <laughs> Stiff beaten egg whites, pile mixture atop asparagus. Bake 350, about 13 minutes, or till the egg mixture is set, serve six. Six? Well, who else are we gonna invite over? The neighbors? You guys ready to come in yet? <laughs> Since we're ready to start cooking, and I have already donned my retro apron of Holly Hobby here, it is only fitting that RJ wear an apron as well. Now we have a selection to choose from. We have Dalmatian. A lovely flower motif. It's kind of small. It doesn't really cover much. Okay, we have ice cream cones. Lovely. We have cherries. Oh, we're just adorable. <laughs> okay, so it's Retro's Choice. So I think... I'm gonna guess she's gonna go for the cherries. Just because you said that. Ice cream. Put on your apron, RJ. Now, undo the... Here, hold this. Trying to choke me now. <laughs> the stuff I put myself through. Okay, we're almost ready. Do you want it doesn't show off so much gut? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay, so one that says kiss the cook. Nope, sorry. All right, so RJ's ready. Look at him. We're ready to cook. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, here we go. All right. RJ, your apron has pockets. No fair. Okay, it says in broiler toast six bread slices on one side. So we're gonna have to bake at 350. So should we already have it set on that when we broil or do we just hit broil? I have no idea. You're supposed to be helpful. I'm trying to be helpful, but I don't cook. I don't have no <laughs> clue. I know how to use a microwave and reheat um, leftovers, that's it. <laughs> what happens if I just push broil? It gives me zeros. So like, broil, it doesn't say how much time to broil, so I can't punch, wait, broil at, no, wait a second. That's not the time, that's the temperature. <laughs> Maybe I'm on broil, but I just hit 350. It says broil. It's doing something. Okay. It, it kicked on, people. Okay, it says toast six bread slices on one side. They're showing a little pan in there, or tray or something there, unless it's a, a serving That's tray. That's a plastic serving tray. Yeah, you don't want to put it on that. <laughs> that would make for a big mess. I think I'm going to put them on a baking sheet, even though it didn't specify. worth all 
the noise. Six. Oops. For the ingredients, it just says bread, but like this is what our bread looks like. It's Wonder Bread, but in the book, it looks like this like fancy bread. Look at it. It looks like a croissant. It didn't say to use that. It, said, it just said bread, slices of bread. RJ, open the oven. Y'all don't look at my dirty oven. Okay. Okay. Close the door. Oven closed. Well, it says broil, so I guess it's already broiling. Oven broiling. You're not being very helpful so far. Sure I am. I just opened the door. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just keep checking to see if they're toasted. Well, we turn the light on in here. It has a light? Yes. That glass is dirty. So... What can we do in the meantime? We can do the egg stuff, but we can't forget about the bread because we don't want to burn it. Is there a timer that's going to warn us or anything? No, or because, we well, we don't on? know how much time to do it for or when it's going to be toasted. It just says toast six slices on one side. That's it. In the broiler. I do, but it says in broiler. Okay, okay. Work with me here. I'm just Asking questions. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye on that then. Thank you, RJ. It's still in there. It hasn't <laughs> gone anywhere. Okay. Ooh, ooh, it's starting to turn golden brown. Okay, maybe we take it out now. Unless it's just the dirty glass. It's a hot oven, careful! Ooh, golden brown. Take this bunny. Aw. It's too cute. <laughs> uh, be careful. You don't want any burns. Ouch. So now place a slice of processed American cheese on each untoasted side. This is the toasted side, right? Yeah. Look, yes. That side's different. <laughs> side's different. Me. <laughs> We're learning as we go. We're learning as we go. Hi ho, I hate asparagus. We're learning as we go. Positive attitude. <laughs> we should probably not mention that the cheese and eggs and asparagus stayed in the car today for like, what, five hours maybe? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what a good job I'm doing. Praise me. You are doing such an awesome, amazing job. I praise you. Retro one. Then it says broil to partially melt the cheese. Remove from heat and place three or four spears of hot cooked asparagus. Or hot cooked asparagus? Say what? It's not cooked. We just took it out of the bag. We have to cook it? Are you kidding me? How do you cook asparagus? I don't know. We're going to have to... Maybe there's something on the tag here. <laughs> We're going to have to cut the video and Google no. how, to, how to cook asparagus before we can move on. <sighs> I thought we were winging it. We are, but you have to cook. Do you want me to put raw asparagus on no. there? No. <laughs> I'm not biting through that. Okay, so we have to cook the I need asparagus. teeth to bite through that. <laughs> we have Googled how to cook asparagus and we've decided we're not going to saute it. We're going to use the oven to bake it. Okay, so it said three to four asparagus for each one. So we have to do math. Like three, no, we should do four for each one because RJ loves asparagus so much. I want to use the maximum amount of asparagus for him. For you, RJ. <laughs> okay, so six, like four times six, 24, right? So we need 24 stalks of asparagus. Are you supposed to wash this first? Probably. Does, it, to... does Pinterest tell you that? We're not on Pinterest. Whatever that is, I don't know. <laughs> we will wash it, okay? That's the okay. that's the good thing to do. And then it said cut off the hard ends. Oh, giggity. Ah! All this cookware and I don't cook. <clears throat> it's just... Props for the retro kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. RJ, no what? more jokes. Uh, okay, I'm leaving. I have a knife. 
There. There, there, there. I have washed four, and I'm going to look at the picture. Did you sanitize them? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm not going to put it on yet because we're baking it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to move faster now. I bet we can, like, speed this part up through the magic of editing. Probably. I don't know. You're a better editor than I am. No. I just slap it together and send it. <laughs> There's one more. I'm going to make you eat these hard stalks if you don't behave. I didn't. <laughs> do you guys see what I put up with here? You don't put up with me very often. I know, but when I do put up with you, this is what I got to put up with. Something dinged. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. <laughs> I got to run. I got to run. Okay, 12 more, 12 more, we can do this. We're gonna bake asparagus like real adults. You call it washing? It wasn't even hardly a rinse. Man down. On the ground. No, but in the sink. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're Come on, checking man. me. I'm trying to pick up the pace here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at all this beautiful asparagus. See guys, this is where being tall has its advantages. I was just saying a few minutes ago, I hope that none of my actual chef friends are watching this because it's really embarrassing. Please don't um, <laughs> uh, judge me <laughs> harshly. I'm still a nice person. I just, I can't cook. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Even though I have worked in kitchens before, that's the scary part. <laughs> I used to work in a kitchen at a casino. But... And definitely don't criticize me because I, I can, I can burn toast. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking this is 24. I'll count it out in a sec. Okay, you're not gonna season these because we want them as gross, I mean, as plain as possible for RJ. Yeah, what she said first is gross. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, they're not gonna fit. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, I did four too many. Why didn't you stop me? I was too busy filming. Okay. What the heck they are kind of close together, but, um, okay. Bake in the preheated oven till just tender, 12 to 15 minutes, depending on thickness. What thickness would you say this has, RJ? Uh, a little thicker than a pencil? Medium? Sure. <laughs> okay, 12 to 15, okay, 13, midway between 12 and 15, we'll just go with that. Sprinkle with lemon juice. No, we're not gonna do that. Lemon juice. Okay, so the oven is preheated, we did that much. We're gonna put it in for 13, stay, minutes. My lucky number. All right, now do the magic of editing. We will come back, or we may come back when we we have eggs. We have something to do with eggs. So push stop for now. I have a lot of questions coming up, it's you guys. So be it's ready. Uh, beat three egg yolks till thick and lemon color. Okay, so hmm. three egg yolks. So three eggs. So we're gonna crack open the eggs into this bowl that I have ready. That has like dust. And in it. Do you well, an egg beater? It's from the bread. I have a whisk. That's it. That's it. That's it. That shall work. Whisk. Whisk. It whisk says, it clean. It says beat. Beat the eggs. But I know that means whisk. See, I do know something. Or use this. Yes. Okay. That's so. exactly what I was picturing too when I asked you to get an egg beater. I'm just preparing. Do you want another shot? I'm prepping. <laughs> no, I don't believe I'll be requiring another shot. Okay. Thank you, though. Maybe later. When, I might need that. After we complete this, if we ever do. Okay, V3 egg yolks, so thick and lemon colored. Oh, screw it. Stir in Stir in one four. He's really, he's really taking a shot, y'all. He can't handle this. It's too much for him. But then we're going to stir in a half a cup mayonnaise half a cup i do have this ready yeah he he totally just took another shot y'all <laughs> and people get on my case about drinking during videos <laughs> look at here okay all Where right do you think i learned it from okay well you're gonna i have... learned it by watching you that's a retro thing that's from commercial Okay, I would like you to throw away these gross eggs. 
that uh, shelf? No, the eggs that I just put in the bowl. <laughs> yes, the shelf! <laughs> now wait, 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 wait. I want you to help. You're not helping. You're just taking shots. Crack the... <laughs> Crack this in here. Oh, I'm not good at this. You can do it. You can do it. RJ can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. I did it. Oh, no shells. Yes, wash that off so you don't get salmonella or something. <laughs> and throw away the yolks somehow. The yolks? Or the shells? I mean the shells. Oh, okay. Not the yolks. Don't throw away what we just did. <laughs> I only got the small carton, so if we mess up too much, we're out of luck. We're getting ready to beat the eggs. What did they ever do to you? I don't know. Beating the eggs, beating the eggs, beating the eggs. RJ, tag, you're in. <laughs> beat the eggs, beat the eggs, beat the eggs, beat the eggs. We're getting into it now. We can do this, right? Down smooth. Okay, beat the egg yolks so thick and lemon colored. Are they thick and lemon colored? You judge. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that thick and lemon colored? Looks like it to me. Sure does. Okay, then we're gonna stir in a half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup. So that's like, that's like a lot of mayonnaise, that's gross. I mean delicious. It's going to be so good. Well, we're in luck, I like mayonnaise, so. Mm, okay, you want a bite? Mm. Here, RJ. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this is hard to judge. Okay, you can stop now. Stopping. Good save. It's really hard to judge, like, when it's up to the line, because it's, like, not like liquid where you can just tell, and it makes a, stra a straight line at the top. So we're guesstimating. Yes, it's all bumpy and weird. All right. That yeah, looks about right. Okay. There. One fourth cup better. mayonnaise. It That's looks, too much. It's too much. We're gonna put some back. Now check this, RJ. Yeah, looks good enough. Okay, good enough. Stir in the mayonnaise, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. It says stir in. So we need a spoon, right? Because that's a whisk. You can't use that to stir with? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you can. Let's try it, see what happens. Alright. So then a fourth of a teaspoon. Alright, I better have the thing for that. Fourth of a teaspoon. I do! We're in luck! A fourth of a teaspoon! She has all this cool stuff in her retro kitchen and doesn't even know she has it. Because she never uses it. Well, these things look so cute. I have a whole thing here of like retro like utensils and spoons and oh, yeah. stuff. They look nice on the counter. Yeah, static display. And I don't I wouldn't want to mess them up by actually like cooking with them. <laughs> you know? Who right. does that? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let the viewers see what I'm doing. I am <laughs> filling this with salt. And I'm catching the overflow. A fourth a teaspoon. I'm going to put that in and a dash of pepper. A dash? What the hell is dash. a dash? I'll show you what a dash is. RJ knows something. Yeah. RJ knows a cooking thing. Is that a dash? That is a dash. How do you know? Because I'm just going with it. <laughs> okay, we got the dash. I've in. seen it on the Frugal Gourmet. Do you watch that? I used to. He's dead now. Well, didn't you pick up any cooking skills from it? I didn't pay attention. I was usually eating dinner <sighs> okay. that my parents made. <laughs> yeah, my mom still makes me dinner, too. <laughs> We're in our 40s. We yeah, know. Yeah, we know. Okay, anyway. Moving on. You have a good mom. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, it now says to fold in three stiff beaten egg... What? Fold Do what? In three stiff beaten... Okay, fold it 
in. When we put the stuff in, what the heck does fold it mean? Fold it? Fold it. That's like witchcraft. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? We already stirred it. It how said, you, okay, how, wait, wait. It said stir in one fourth cup of mayonnaise, one fourth. How do you fold salt, that? Salt, a dash of pepper, then fold in three stiff beaten egg whites. Wait, what? Does it mean new eggs? Or already the eggs that are in there just fold everything egg together? Egg whites would be, wouldn't that be hard boiled eggs? How can you fold in hard boiled eggs? I have no clue. I don't understand if it's Google. telling us to, it's telling us to fold in three st stiff beaten egg whites. But we already stirred everything together. What I does know. that mean? I have no idea. Oh my god, this needs to be live so viewers can help us. <laughs> I don't see a chat on there. Yeah, it's not live. They can't help us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they can laugh at us in the comments though. That's right. <laughs> How dumb we are. <laughs> okay. I say we skip that. Cause the asparagus is done anyway. Skip it. Oh, skip it! Skipping. Fold? I gotta know what fold in means though. You need to Google that. Okay, the asparagus is Fold looks. in cooking definition. A technique used to gently combine a light air, 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 air ingredient. Airy. Airy. Ingredients such as beaten egg whites with a heavier one such as whipped cream or cake mix. This down, across, up, and over motion gently combines the ingredients them in the process to create a light, fluffy consistency. Down, across, up. Okay. You did that, not me. <laughs> down, across, over, up? What? Right, left, down, up, A, B, mm. start, start. Look at the asparagus. Smell them. That's showing a Smell. spatula and a spoon. Smell the scent wafting up. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that part at all. B3 egg yolks. The yolks. It was just the yolks, I guess. We were supposed to separate the yolks from the other part. And then stir the other stuff in. And then fold in. So fold in is... Egg whites. Which you don't have. Because we used it all. I don't understand. Okay, we... We opted to move on. And we're gonna move on. So, but what that was just showing me on Google is it's basically you're, you're making it almost like taste-like or, or like pudding, kind of. That's too runny. That's just gonna go. Okay, let's look on here. Pile the mixture atop of the asparagus and, wait, pile the mixture atop of the asparagus, but we're supposed to put the asparagus on here. Yeah, and, and so then put the mixture. that's probably what you're looking at here in this picture. That's what. Oh, that's not the bread. That's oh not my the bread. gosh, you guys. The bread's underneath. <laughs> this is not the bread. This is the egg yolk stuff oh my god rj you you will help so much <laughs> couldn't have done this without you that's the egg yolk stuff that's so weird though <laughs> so well, when you pour that on there it's just gonna go it, it's almost like from what they're saying by folding it is like um cake icing in a way or or pudding so that it has more of a consistency to it that you can put it on there that it'll stay put. Well, what should we use to thicken it? I don't know. It says egg whites. We are, well, I mean, the egg whites are in there. Should we put more mayonnaise? <laughs> try it. It might thicken it. Let's try it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> what do we got to lose? Let's try that gonna, amount first. It's already going to be nasty. Wait, try a spoon because it's... Didn't it show spoon? Yeah, yes it did. You're correct. You are correct. We are so good at cooking. We can use this one. With a spoon or a spatula? Well, that's both. Okay. <laughs> okay, careful. This is still really hot. This is folding right here. Okay, show them. This is folding right here. Oh, you're not even on the screen. Folding. You tried to thicken it with extra mayonnaise. Fold it. Oh, get that little bit from up there and just put it in. Put that in right there. And that little guy right there. All right, perfect. So we're folding. Okay, is it I feel thicker? like Bob Ross right now. Is it? Even though it's not, we're not painting. You're not painting happy little trees. Okay, is it thicker? <laughs> no. <laughs> really. What did the mayonnaise do? It, it just, just like, it, it made chunks. 
<coughs> Don't sneeze on the food! <laughs> okay. I think it's a little thicker though. Maybe one more glob. It's gonna be super mayonnaise-y. I put another glob in while you were gone. I was just stirring it. I messed it up again. I think I'm allergic to this stuff. We're folding. We're folding. We're full. I'm sorry, this is just kinda in the way right now. Don't touch my rainbow. I'll put it back. We're not doing anything. We have not... It, it's really clumpy. We did not fold in three stiff beaten egg whites. We folded in extra mayonnaise. Do you think that's going to work? We will see. This isn't going to work. <laughs> we have to go back and broil again. I don't know what temperature. Uh, we were at 350. For well, the now we're at 450. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna say it's uh, nuclear. Bring them out. Okay. Watch it, it's mm -hmm. hot. Alrighty, now, I know what's next. We are going to put the four stalks on each one, and they're doing a lot of overlapping here. <laughs> I should have done a bigger sheet pan. We're tr <laughs> still trying to fold. And no, we're not, we're done with that step. And I'm putting the asparagus on. Okay, I'm still trying to fold. Okay. Now we're done with that step. RJ! Ellen, retro! Is your mouth watering for this delicious asparagus? You better have a puke bucket close by. <laughs> no puking allowed. Wait a minute, in the book, they're not hanging out as far, so you probably need to like cut them down some, don't you? They are a little bit. Yeah, not as much like that. Maybe you can fold them in half, that way. I just want you to eat more of them, no. RJ. Okay, I'm cutting off more because RJ thinks they're too long. <coughs> oh no, the asparagus allergy is catching. Okay, RJ, I've made the asparagus shorter. Why do you, why do, you do a garden shovel when you're Oh, because I was washing it off because it it had dirt on it from the potted plant. Because <laughs> I repotted them because they got bigger. Mm. This is not a horticulture show. This is a cooking show. So, rip oh, it. Hey, what do you guys think? Can we use that to fold this stuff over? Uh, RJ, would I, you like to... Am I the only one here with a sense of humor? Oh, that's my nose. RJ, would you like to keep these stalks? I can give them to you in a little Ziploc baggie so you can take them home sure. to Pennsylvania. They can be snacks for Yes, you trip. can snack on them on the way back to Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'd do that for you, RJ. You are so awesome. No. Woo, our pee is gonna smell awesome after we eat these. It says pile the mixture atop of the asparagus. <clears throat> And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for 13 minutes. More like drizzles the okay, mixture. Okay, we gotta get it off broil. And back to bake for 350. All right. Treat fitty. Okay, it's already ready. It's too hot. <laughs> RJ, start drizzling. Let's do it like this. What? <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do it like this. <laughs> Getting her going here. <laughs> Look, it's running right off onto the pan. <laughs> it said pile the mixture I'm, on top. I'm piling. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're dripping off the side. Mmm. <laughs> Retro food. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> you say McDonald's. Okay. Is that enough? I don't know. There's still a lot in here. <laughs> a lot. I think you should put some more scoops. <laughs> I mean, look at the picture. It's 
going to be soup by the time we're done. <laughs> All right, there we Overfl go. All right, y'all. Is it looking like the photo? Look, 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 look. It's dripping into the egg pan. <laughs> okay, we're ready to put this sucker in. There's going to be eggs all over the tray. This was such a bad idea. All right, here we go. Let's put it in. Into the oven she goes. Looking a little drippy there. All right, got it. Drippy? Yes. That's yeah. That's beyond drippy. Okay, that's timer. Drippy. Thirteen minutes. We're gonna think positively, and we are gonna await Poor the results. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Get excited. Six minutes. Totally excited. What is it called? I forgot already. Spring sandwich of pubs coming at ya. Yeah, what she said. What does it look like? Should we update? I'm sorry, I gotta. It's midway, midpoint. Midpoint, we need to check on it. I'm gonna pull the Ernest Pete Warrell maneuver here, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Vern. Open that and let's get a look at what it's doing. Oh, Whoa. The glasses just fogged up. I know, the, <laughs> the camera did too. Okay, we've got some mayo chunks. Uh, We're gonna need a knife and a fork. Asparagus looks stuff. like it's burning and there's egg fluff. Okay, five more minutes. I'm gonna go throw it now. Just kidding. <laughs> Two minutes. That's good because it's about to boil over the pan. Two minutes. Two minutes. That gives me time to show my retro shelf here. Look how cute it is. Look at the salt and pepper shakers. Look at the punch bowl. All of this is retro. Your mom or your grandma may have had these items, or maybe you if you're old enough. Some of that's, was that Corel dishes? Yes, RJ, you know dishes. Yeah, we have Corel dishes at home. Yes, as do we. Hmm. Uh, All of these are Corel. Yeah, except our, our design's different. But they, you seen this one? Yep, that's what we have right there. <laughs> that's what I eat off at home. Really? That's exactly it. The whole set. We have the entire set. Well, I mix and match, but I have... Up there, I have some... I think I have teacups and stuff. Yeah, we got teacups, coffee cups. We got everything. The bowls, all of it. I mix and match. I like those. I actually like these a lot, though. I'll have to send you pictures. This is Corel, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah so now this is... This is what my mom, this is exactly what my mom I know, got that's what most years, people, so. this is Corel, look. Hmm. And that, this, this is another one of the ones I like. Yeah. They all have names. Hmm. This is Crazy Daisy. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so now you know that next now time you look at it. Hmm. I forget this one, it's Forest something Forest. It has the word forest in it. I could Google it. Those are the cool ones. Oh, it's ready. Hold on. I got these heart ones too from the 80s. <laughs> Those are my daily use ones. These are not the ones I display. We, we actually use all of those. Okay. We are ready to see our food that we cooked. Are you ready? Your mouth is watering? No, it's really dry right now. All this will make it worthwhile when you taste the deliciousness. God, I hope so. Okay, RJ, do the honors of taking it out, but not with your hand. Use an oven oh. mitt. <laughs> okay, let me see. I can't see. Mm. Where did it go? Oh. It doesn't look like the worst thing in the world. Where did one go over There's a hedgehog one up there. Okay. Let's see if it'll fit my hand. 
Settle down! Don't be jumping near the oven! That's how injuries occur. It's warm. It's toasty. How does it smell? It's, it smells like cheese. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna need a fork. Spring pastry puffs! We're retro foods! <laughs> what do you guys think? Does that look good? Does that look right? Or does it look like there's things online, it's the actual thing and then the fail? Yeah, right? <laughs> this, is, this is the menu at the restaurant. This is what they bring out to you. <laughs> RJ awaits his spring pastry puff. How do you feel? I'm about to bring you your delicious tasty food. Retro food. What? You're talking too loud. I can't hear you. What? Okay. How do you feel? Bring it on. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand. There's one. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look what I did. You made a sandwich. Hold this. I did, I just did something weird with that one. You're getting it all over the book. Well, I might be throwing out that book after this. <laughs> after this experience. You throw something retro and the trash? <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. It's just about time for a tasty treat. Smell it. Is it good? Smell cheese and asparagus. You think it's still raw? Raw? The eggs. Mm, All right. No, it looks a little scrambled right there. Well, that's good. This is gonna be nasty. RJ, you try first. Of course. Well, you're the biggest asparagus fan of us. I I picked this recipe out just for you. Get a bite with asparagus on it. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a lot of cheese on there too. So I don't know. Bear with me, it takes me a little bit to chew. I'm missing teeth. Well, this is relatively soft. It almost tastes like pizza. Sorry about the glare, guys. It's, you know. So, come on, final. Thoughts. Tastes like pizza. You don't think it's gross? No. I thought I was like I was already ready to throw up before I even tasted it. Like wow. Well, there you have it, folks. Sometimes when we set out to make weird retro foods, expecting them to be nasty, we are delightfully surprised to find them pretty good. I can't believe it. I'm speechless. So, yeah, so eat all of your asparagus. Your system will be shocked. It'll be like, what are you eating? Okay, so it's actually not bad.
Yeah, I thought he was going to take one bite of it and be done. He's actually eating it. Yeah, I'm almost done with it. Go figure! Who knew? And I'm even full from dinner, so... This is surprising results. RJ has almost cleaned his plate. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. I'm so proud of him. He's a good boy. He finished his asparagus. For the road, RJ. No. Okay, so we're going to officially conclude the video now. We made spring pastry puffs from Better Homes and Gardens lunches and brunches. It did not turn out like how the picture looks, but it wasn't half bad. RJ actually finished. He's a member of the Clean Plate Club now, y'all. He ate it all and he doesn't even like asparagus. I'm so surprised at the results of this, this um, weird retro foods. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on weird retro foods. So I want to thank RJ of RJ78 Productions for being my cooking assistant today. He did a very good job. Applause. I encourage everyone to check out his channel, RJ78 Productions. His information will be underneath the video. Guess what, everybody? I also am going to put the recipe in the description. I don't see it. Where's that? What? The description. Well, where is it? I don't see underneath it. the video on YouTube. And if you do make it, make sure you share it with me. If any of you guys actually make the recipes from this, I will definitely want to talk about that on a future episode. So, please let me know. All right, we're going to sign out. If you like closed. If you like this type of content, please make sure you're subscribed to the Retromantic and ring the notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming out. Again, thank you, RJ, for being here. Thank you for having me. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bon appetit. Toodaloo. See you next time. Yeah. Golf class. I dropped the book. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. I'm fine. So, <laughs> my hair. Asparagus string, actually. <laughs> Color me surprised. Something to wash it down with. <laughs> we got four. But oh, you wanted it. He's kidding. He poured one. <laughs> this new kind of shot. <laughs> um, Bermuda black rum asparagus.
That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Do not recommend. Sit, boo-boo, sit. Ruff, good dog.